Howdy, folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Cobb, and welcome to another episode of our RuneScape Let's Play Adventure. We are back here in the wonderful world of RuneScape. We are back in Varric. Uh, we've been here for the last couple of videos. We went over to the Barbarian Village uh, to do the Stronghold of Security. Then we kind of came over here and helped out old Romeo with his love life. Ended up hooking him up with uh, Juliet's arguably more attractive, but also probably like 12-year-old sister. If I remember the story of Romeo and Juliet correctly, those those kids were kids, man. It's highly inappropriate. But I decided to stick around in Varric and see what else we've got going on. Who knows what other quests we might have. Who I mean, you'll you'll know because obviously it'll be in the video title and probably in the box next to my face. It'll tell you what we're doing. But I don't know. I just know if we talk to this lovely lady here, she'll tell us what's up. So this is Gypsy Heiress. I've been told to bring her gold coin. Should I give her a voice? I think some people might be getting a bit weary of my voices. I'll tell you what, I'll do just a really normal one. I'll just do... Hello, young one! Chris, my palm with silver, and the fortune will be revealed to you! <laughs> I said basic. That's as basic as it gets. Oh, man, I don't have any silver. I've got a piece of gold, though. Uh, with silver, question mark? Oh, sorry, I forget. With gold, I mean. I haven't used silver coins since before you were born. So do you want your fortune told? Um, yeah. Let's go for it. I'd like to hear my fortune. Come closer and listen carefully to what the fortune holds for you as I peer into the swirling mists of the crystal ball. <laughs> I can see images forming. I can see you! I would argue that crystal balls probably have like a reflective quality, so you're probably just seeing me reflected in the crystal wall, but okay, I'll play along. You are holding a very impressive looking sword! I'm sure I recognize that sword! This woman's really into pronunciation. She likes to use like every letter and every word, including the W in sword. Sword. I, who can fathom? There is a big, dark shadow appearing now. Ah! Are you alright? It's Delrith! Delrith is coming! Who's Delrith? Delrith! Delrith is a powerful demon! Oh, I really hope he didn't see me looking at him through my crystal ball! He tried to destroy the city 150 years ago. He was stopped just in time by the great hero Wall- Wally? Where is Wally? Using his magic sword Silverlight, Wally managed to trap the demon in some circle just south of this city. Your god, Silverlight was the sword you were holding in my vision! You are the one destined to stop the demon this time! <coughs> this is gonna kill me. I regret everything. But how am I meant to fight a demon who can destroy cities? If you face Dalrith while he is still weak from being summoned and use the correct weapon, you will not find the task too arduous. Do not fear if you follow the path of the great hero Wally, that you will be sure to defeat the demon. Alright, um, how did Wally kill the dude? How did he do the Delrith? How did that happen? Oh boy, we're getting a, we're getting a story. Fan-flipping-tastic. I'm so excited. Uh, okay, here we go. Wally managed to arrive at the Stone Circle just as Delrith was summoned by a cult of Chaos Druids. Die, foul demon! Yeah, it looks about like what Wally would think Wally would look like. I mean, white, red and white clothes, maybe a hat, would look look better but now what's that incantation again uh look at that incantation i need to memorize definitely didn't just take a picture of it with my phone so it looks like he managed looks like he killed the demon yeah and then he did a little jig for absolutely no one to see i am the greatest demon slayer ever by reciting the correct magical incantation and thrusting silver light into Delrith while he was newly summoned, Wally was able to imprison Delrith in the stone block in the center of the circle. Alright, sounds simple enough. I need silver light and I need a stone block. Delrith will come forth from the stone circle again! I would imagine an evil sorcerer is already starting the ritual to summon Delrith as we speak. 
Man, this is one very knowledgeable woman. All right. Um, what is the magical incantation? No, I think we already got that. Well, maybe we should ask again. What is it, just in case? Let me make sure uh, it matches up with what I got here. It's going to be different for every person, by the way. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I got. All right, thank you. All right. Um, where do I find silver light? Silver light's been placed down through all his descendants. I believe it is currently in the care of one of the king's knights called Sir Prison. What a name. He shouldn't be too hard to find. He lives in the royal palace in this city. Tell him the gypsy heiress sent you. We know each other. We have a bit of a thing going on. Mm -hmm. ah! Uh, thanks. Listen, I'll do my best to stop the demon and look. Oh, she worships gothics. Interesting. I'm more of a, uh, the other one kind of guy. But, uh, what's his name? Seradim, Seradim, Sarah, Seraph, 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 um, Sardine. More of a sardine kind of guy, personally. But yeah, okay. Let's just head in here and we'll talk to this dude's descendant. Maybe we can get him to go fight the, the demon. And I guess that's this is the Demon Slayer quest. I do remember doing this one. Yeah, Demon Slayer. I do re actually remember doing this one. This is exciting. Okay. So we just got to enter the royal palace fully armed. Like we're going in there for combat. And none of these guards are going to stop us. Because why would they? It's not like we pose a threat to anyone. So that's the king. We don't want to bother him. We want to find someone who looks like they might have been handed down. This looks promising. This guy, wh who are you? Are you? Ah, look at that. That was actually very simple. Hey, look, there's the sword. That's That's got to be it. Examine the sword case. Go look at it. Oh, no, we don't have to. A very impressive sword rests behind the glass. You, sir. I would very much like to speak to you. Do not let my appearance in full armor. Hello? Who are you? Uh, Gypsy Harris, uh, your girlfriend said I should come and talk to you, is actually what, what's going on here. Gypsy Harris? Is she still alive? I remember her from when I was pretty young. Oh, dear. Well, that makes the whole creepy affair thing way creepier. Good grief. Um, well, well what do you, what do you need to talk to me about? Well, not that, I promise you that much. Uh, I need to find Silverlight. What do you need it for? What do you need to find that for? I need to fight Delrith. Delrith? I thought the world was rid of him, thanks to my great-grandfather. Uh, Gypsy's crystal ball seems to think otherwise. Well, if the ball says so, I'd better help you. Again, these people are just way, like, too easy to trick into things. I mean, my goodness. Good grief. The problem is getting Silverlight. You mean you don't have it? Oh, I do have it, but it's, a pow but it's so powerful that the king made me put it in a special box which needs three different keys to open it. That way it won't fall into the wrong hands. Okay, why is that a problem? It seems pretty simple, just get the keys. I kept one of the keys and gave the other to two, and gave the other two to other people for safekeeping. One I gave to Roven, the captain of the palace guard. The other to the wizard, Treyborn. Can you give me your key? That'll be a good step in the right direction. I, I, there's a problem. As well, I managed to drop the key in the drain just outside the palace kitchen. It's just inside, and I can't reach it. <sighs> where, does the, where does that lead to? Where does that, the drain, the drain pipe running, the sink, kitchen down, sewers. Where can I find Captain Roven? Quarters, northwest of the palace. And where does the wizard live? Although I think I already know the answer to that one. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, wizard tower. Alright, I guess I'm going key hunting. How do you manage to drop a key to a case containing a very powerful sword into a drainage pipe? But whatever, I think I remember what to do here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what we need to do. So we need to go first off northwest of the tower to go find the other dude and get his sword. Where did they say? Does he live in like the north? Does he live upstairs? I don't know where he lives. Ah, Captain Roven, I found you. Thank goodness. What's up, mate? What are you doing up here? Only the palace guards are allowed up here. I listen. Uh, this is important, okay? Okay, I'm listening. Tell me what's so important. Er, there's a demon who wants to invade the city. Um, is it a powerful demon? Yeah, very. Uh, I mean, what kind of a question is that? Ah, good as the palace guards are, I don't know if they're up to taking on a very powerful demon. Y yeah, well, look, uh, it's not them who needs to fight a demon, it's me. What? All by yourself? How are you going to do that? 
I'm going to use the powerful sword Silverlight, which I believe you have one of the keys for. Yes, I do. But why should I give it to you? Well, sir, prison said you would. That seems like, this seems like a, oh, did he, did he? Well, I don't report to Sir Prison. I report directly to the king. I didn't work my way up through the ranks of the palace guard so that I could take orders from the ill, from an ill-bred moron who only has his job because his great-grandfather was a hero with a silly name. Good, everyone thinks Wally's a silly name. It's not just me. Well, uh, the gypsy said... That I was destined to kill the, the- A gypsy? Destiny? I don't believe in that stuff! I got where I am today by hard work, not by destiny. Why should I care what a mad old gypsy says? Like, the demon's gonna destroy the city otherwise. You can't fool me! How do I know you haven't just made the story to get my key? Um, I guess we'll try this again. Yep, here we go, same thing. Good, good, good. Well, why did he give you one of the keys then? There we go, see? Well, well, let's see. Only because the king ordered him to. The king couldn't get Sir Prison to part with his precious ancestral sword, but he made him lock it up so he couldn't lose it. Like he did the, the key. I got one of the keys, and I think some wizards got another. Now what happened to the third one? Uh, Sir Prison dropped it down a drain. Ha ha ha! The idiots! Okay, I'll give you the key, just so that it's you that kills the demon and not Sir Prison. Thank you. I'll, I'll take the key. That was that was straightforward. Go figure. So now we gotta get the one out from the drain. And I believe I remember how to do this from the old days. Kitchen here. Very nice kitchen. Lovely kitchen, really. You get all your cooking you need. I mean, they, yeah, it's a nice place. Listen, we gotta do those. We gotta get this bucket. Which is just being kept in this person's room. For heaven only knows what reason. And then we need to fill it up with some water. Which I think we could do over here in the... Not the door. Ah, we need to kill this guy, though. That's for a different quest. Maybe he'll drop a bead, though. Like, if we get lucky. Give me a bead, boy. A boy, a boy bead. Give me just... I mean, I can go buy him at this point. I've got a lot of money. Ah, oh, hot diggity! We got a red bead. All right, cool. That's one bead I don't have to buy. Can we use this on the sink, please? Cool, we'll get some water. And then what we got to do is use the water on the drain pipe. Okay, I think I've washed the key down into the sewers. I better go get down there and get it. See, now we can go down in the sewers and get the key. Yeah, see, I remember things. These quests aren't... Oh, wait. Is that where we do it? Back there with the bear? Oh, that's a level 21 bear. No, I remember how to get to the sewers. It's not back here. Come on, let's go. If I'm not mistaken, this is where we need to be right here. Yep, there it is. Manhole. Open that sucker up. We're going down into the sewers, baby. I'm so excited. This is a day that will be remembered and talked about for decades. Okay, now we just got to figure out where the key would have been washed down to. Should be pretty straightforward. Because, like, we just got to follow this until we get to an area where we would reasonably be under the kitchen. So back this direction. Or maybe back over here, because there's like a red thing over here. That might be right underneath the kitchen. But it might not be either, so who knows. Let's just head this way first. And then if we have to do some backtracking, we'll do a bit of backtracking. Ah, there it is. Like, literally right there. Oh, also, some zombies in the sewers, just because why not? Yep, Silverlight key. We picked up an old rusty key. Awesome. So there's the first two keys done. Sweet. So I guess now we need to go to the wizard tower, and the quickest way there is going to be via teleport to Lumbridge, which is the only spell I've got. I haven't done anything magically related. If we take a look at our skills, you'll see that both ranged and magic are still level one. We're going to have to be doing some grinding on those in the future. And I'm trying to level those up. But here we go. We're going to make our sweet teleport to Lumbridge. And, oh, look, some ham members. Racist. Uh, I guess we don't know anything about them yet, though. We haven't done that quest, so we don't know anything about the racist ham members. Is that is that quest even part of this? Is uh, I can't remember when that quest was introduced, so I don't know if it was actually a part, if it's a part of Old School RuneScape. It's the one where you find the, uh, the goblin downstairs. And then Ham gets involved. Well, I guess there's Ham clothes here, but Ham might have been around well before that. So who knows? Anyway, let's get to where we're going. Actually, we're going to take a quick swing up north to the bank here. And ye old Drain... Where am I? Where, where even am I? Where's my map? Where have I gone? Draenor's up there. So yeah, we're in Draenor Village. And um, we're just going to collect some bones. Listen, some of you are going to wonder why we need bones. Trust me on this one. We do, okay? We'll withdraw all. 
Can I, I can't carry all of them. We'll have to leave behind the stakes. It makes more sense to leave behind the keys. But whatever, we'll carry them with us. Alright, we've got our 25 bones. Good. Now we go to the wizard tower. Wizard, wizard Treyborn. What a strange name. Is that you little guy? It's not you. It's gotta be one of these guys. We don't want to get in a fight with any of them because they're very magical and we are not. And you know what they say, you don't want to fight magic with, with might. That's not it either. That's a different that's a different dude. Upstairs we go. I remember he was down there though in the previous quest we did. What's your name? Just wizard? Ah, you though. You look like No, you're just another wizard. Um you, you Ah, there he is. Look at that. He caught my eye because he's got a beard and a chest, which looks like a good place to keep a key. Howdy there, Treyborn, how you doing? I'd like to speak with you. Hello, young thing what? Hey, uh listen. Uh, I'm here to get a key. That's that's. Let's just cut to the right to the chase, because honestly, these voices. Prison. I think I've been saying his name wrong this whole time. There's an N at the end, not an M, so it's not prism or prison. It's Prison. So listen, if you've been upset about that, comment down below. I'll ignore it. Sir Prison, who's that? What would I want his key for? He told me you were looking after it for him. Was it very clever of him? I'd lose my head if it weren't screwed on. Go and tell him to find someone else to look after his valuables in the future. Uh, have you got any keys just knocking about? Now you've come to mention it, yes, I do have a key. It's in my special closet of valuable stuff. Now, how do I get into that? I sealed it using one of my magical rituals. Uh, so it would make sense that another ritual would open it again. Okay, so how do you know what ritual to use? Let me think a second. Mm, yes, a simple Drasia style ritual should suffice. Mm, main problem with that is that I need 25 sets of bones. Now, where am I going to get hold of something like that? Uh, I'll get the bones for you. <laughs> I told you. I told you we'd need these bones. Oh, that would be very good for you. Okay, well, I'll speak to you when I've got some bones. Hey, guess what, buddy? How are you doing finding the bones? I have some bones. Give them here, then. We give him the bones. Ah, that's all 25 sets of bones. Wings of dark in color, too. Speeding in the morning, too. Spreading, I should say. Locked away, I have a key. Return it now, please, unto me. Look at that, I've done it. I've got a magical chest here. Here's your key. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Not a problem for a friend of so what's his face. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're done. Well, I mean, we're not done. Now we get to go fight the Duma Flopper. Vark teleport requires only level 25 magic, and we could have that in no time. I think I'm really going to have to start investing in, in, in magical spells and things. That's going to be an important thing to do in the future. In the meantime, I guess we... We run. Trying to decide if it would be more... More expedient to run to Lumbridge and then go up the river via boat and then walk over to Vark. Or if we should just walk all the way there. I mean, we haven't really walked through Draenor Manor yet or, or done anything really in Draenor Village either except for just kind of walk by it. Uh, let's stick with what we're familiar with. Let's do a bit of a role play here. I've only really been, in my character, we've only been to a few places, so we'll just take the familiar route, which is back to Lumbridge, and, you know, maybe we're just not familiar with the Draenor area. Look, a unicorn. I'm a cub and I'm chopping a tree. Choppy, choppy tree. Chopping a tree. I'm a cub and I'm rowing down the river. Rowing down the river, come with me. See, I changed it a little bit for copyright reasons. All right, so I've got the keys. I've got all of my armor. I'm gonna get a bit of food here. Just a bit, because you know, I haven't fought this thing since the first time I played old school RuneScape in like 2006 or whatever it was. So we're just bringing maybe a little bit more food. Maybe a bit more food than that. All right, that ought to do it. I'm not breaking my sword, because I got a feeling we're getting a new one. I am fully armored up though. With, what, 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 what are on my, do I not have gloves? I guess I don't have gloves. Fine, fair enough, doesn't matter. All right, look, based on every previous conversation we've had this with this guy, I think we can all agree he's a bit of an idiot. Let's see if we can just use the keys directly on the box. No. Okay, apparently we can't, so we have to go talk to this guy. It's an interesting-looking head on the wall over there. I doubt he killed it. Um, 
I've, what did this guy sound like? Just generic. How are you getting on with the keys? I've got all three keys. Excellent. Now I can give you silver light. Here we go. So he has to use them, I guess. Maybe he's just really talented with keys. And we're not. I can't remember any time we've ever used a key. Except for during that, um... That one quest. The Halloween special. But hey, look at that. It's a prison. Prison. Doesn't matter. He's given us a shiny sword. The sword belonged to my great-grandfather. Make sure you treat it with respect. Now go kill that demon. I totally will. And look, we're already wielding the sword and everything. We're set to go. We've got all the meat here. All the meat we could possibly need. I hope that... Oh, okay. Well, we've accidentally eaten a piece. Not that big a deal. All right. I guess now we just go to the, to the circle south of town and fight the thing. No hesitation. I remember being terrified of this when I was a kid. But that was, that was a decade ago. I'm a grown man now. And Jedi robes, and I can I can handle RuneScape without being afraid, without being very afraid, maybe slightly afraid. Alrighty, boys, you've done a good job guarding the city. Today's my turn, though, because if you try to do this, let's face it, I mean you'd all be wiped out. I mean you guys get killed on a regular basis anyway. What what level are these guys? I know that if you're a low enough level, like you have to be like double their level to avoid them attacking you. And also, if they attacked me, I'm in like the worst gear to tango with these guys. Because I'm in, like, melee gear, and they're, like, magical. Oh, look! Uh, Arise, O oh mighty Dalrith! Bring destruction to the blah blah blah! Arise! The wizards cast an evil spell, and... Whoa, my gosh, there he is! And he looks kind of... Kind of like those kids in high school with, like, the dark makeup under their eyes. Ah ha ha! At last you are free, my demonic brother! Rest now, and then have your revenge on this pitiful city! Who's that? No, not Silverlight. Delareth is not ready yet. I've got to get out of here. Well, what a coward. Yep, here we go. Here come the magic. Oh, hey, no. Attack this guy. Attack this guy. Attack him. Why are we not attacking him? What's going on? Attack the... Attack Delrith. Attack... G dang it. Get over here and attack Delrith. What are you doing? Attack this guy. What is going on? Fine. Kill the wizard. Good gosh. I'm not going to die here like this. Eat the meat. Eat the meat again. Kill the darn wizard. I cannot believe- Why are you not- Wh What are you doing? What is going on? Why- Is auto attack not enabled? Why is auto attack not enabled? Where is that even at? Auto retaliate is on. What? Eat the meat again. What are you doing? Alright, now attack him. No! Why do we have to fight all of these guys one at a time? What is this? We are going to die here. Stop it! Just kill the guy! Oh my gosh, he's hitting me for so much damage right now. This is ridiculous. What are you doing, me? What are you doing? I don't even understand what's happening right now. We're eating all of our food and we're unable to kill this wizard. Kill him! Why won't you attack? What is your issue? Ah, we're gonna die! 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 Just keep eating all the food! Keep eating all the food! Keep eating! Run! Run away! Run away! Run away! We, we gotta run away! Good grief! What was that all about?! What were you doing?! Okay, so now at least we know what we're in for over here. So what we should do is probably angle ourselves in such a way that we can get in there without aggroing. Are all of these guys gonna be there? There wasn't all these guys in there last time. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. What was that? There was just a thing that magically... Alright, here we go. We're gonna sprint in here. Looks like a nice gap. Alright, we're back into combat with... Alright, we're back into combat. There we go. Attack him! Prayer's up! Turn on the prayer! I don't remember what I said is my prayer. Attack him! There we go! Now we're getting somewhere! Let's say, let's slay this monster. We're not doing, like, any damage to him. I wonder if it matters that we're attacking him with, uh, okay, eat the lobster. There we go. See, that restores way more points. We should probably attack him with something other than... Actually, we've done a lot of damage to him already. Oh, this is gonna be... I see where this is going, actually. Alright, so this is... Huh. Interesting. What was that incantation again? Excellent, excellent question, me. One moment here. Let me just unlock the phone that I didn't use to take a picture. And, uh, let's, let's see what we got here. Photos. Um, the incantation was... Uh, uh, Aber... Yep, that's, that's the one. Uh, something... Kimithilubu... Uh, Ksarlithum... Perp... Perp... 
Perk Perkuai Gib Gibindo Gabindo. Yeah, Gibby Gibby did a bed and a go. Look at that! He sucked into a vortex. Does that mean we did it? We only needed one lobster. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now what? He's back into the dark dimension from which he came. Hey, we did it! Uh, I didn't get to read what I got. Get out of here! Run away! Run away! Oh man, what was my quest rewards? I've had to Google it, because the game just disappeared. Alright, we rewarded three quest points and silver light. That's it then. We got... We got silver light. That's our big reward. I don't even know what the stats on this thing are. Well, there's only one other free-to-play quest in Varric, and it requires that I've got a buddy to play with, which at the time... Yes, I have one, but he, he can't record right now, so I might just head back down to Lumbridge and see what's going on around there for uh, for future quests, see if I can't close out some Lumbridge quests. Until next time, though, hey, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!